good morning i hope you're all good i hope you're all well i've had a lion and i'm a big fan um it is currently quarter to six in the a.m and i've not long rolled into work who do i think i am who do i think i am rolling in at this time not gonna lie i'm normally well up the road by now but had a nice little lie in all is well i'm still a bit hay fever -y. first thing in the morning hay fever gets me um i'm literally one of the last people in the yard and i'm not mad about it i'm here for it so uh plan for today is very simple we're going to west straighten like west straighten tip west straighten in dunstable reload dunstable go to ipswich come home that is it it is a simple day on paper <laughs> let me just show you this literally pretty much to the last lorry in the yard there's one there rolling out rolling ed so yeah i'm basically the last one in um like i said i'm not mad about it anyway <coughs> i do also owe you an apology just before i get going i need to do a little public service and that's why i need to do my sad face guys i'm sorry and i'll tell you why i'm sorry um it seems like every time i go to film on this channel it's raining for like the last four videos all of it is raining again it's, and today is no different it's july and it's raining it's spitting it's not proper rain it's like drizzly spitty rain however blame me i will take the flack for it every time i touch my camera the heavens open um so if you've woken up to rain, blame me. Go, oh, for God's sake, Pete, I'll take it. I'm sorry. Anyway, let's get up the road. Oh, thank you very much. Someone's let me out. <laughs> Good start to me Friday. Little victory. Um, I wasn't lying when I said it was raining either. Look, see, rain on me windscreen. I'm, I'm going to stop doing YouTube. I've decided because... I like the sun, and the sun made me happy. It brought some joy to my life. It gave me some purpose. I'd wake up in the morning, I'd be like, fuck! And I'd be happy and joyous. Now I touch my camera and it just rains. So that's it, that's the big announcement. YouTube, done with it, not doing it anymore. Um, and then we might actually get a summer. I am only joking, of course, I am gonna carry on doing YouTube, but it is getting a bit annoying now. Pick the camera up. Rain. It's like rain on your wedding day. Why am I singing? Why am I singing? I don't have a singing voice. Especially not with a hay fevery throat. Um, however, if you did like that, I am available to hire for, you know, weddings, parties, small functions, corporate events. Drop me a message. I'll do you a good price. I wouldn't. But, uh, yeah, the offer's there. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Guess what, guys? We are back for a third instalment of uh, Little Pete's Tours of Northwest London, where I give you pointless and irrelevant information that you didn't need to know about the place in which I grew up. And we start today with a crown and treaty. Um... It's a pub. I went in there at 18 years old. Paid a fiver to get in at the door. And when you're 18, a fiver's a lot of money because I was broke. Um, and then I walked through, literally walked through the entrance, looked on the floor, found a fiver. It was fate. Free night out. And I'll be honest with you, it wasn't a great night out. So I was quite happy. I broke even that night. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there we go. Another bit of pointless information that you didn't need to know. And now we're just coming into West Drizzy or West Drayton. Uh, I don't think anyone's ever called it West Drizzy, but I have. I hope it sticks. But anyway, that, um, <laughs> that sort of concludes Pete's tours of West London for another day. Uh, come on. Out you go. Uh, only a short one today. Didn't really have too much else to show you, Randy. You've seen it all before. But, as always, 
if you would like to purchase tickets and go on a guided walking tour of West London, let me know. Because, uh, I mean, listen, I'm always hustling. I'm a hustler, you know? Got to make that money. Uh, now we are just back down the road with the most pointless traffic management in the world. Back down the road with the stupid flower beds. I'm not sure how this helps slow people down. Just causes carnage. All right, it's all right. Uh, 12 minutes past six in the morning because there's no one here, but why? Just, I don't know, speed bumps. That's the usual go-to for traffic management. No, we're just going to carry on with flower beds. I don't get it. And it just makes, I mean, you're literally just making it very narrow for artists to get through. And you get a lot of trucks coming down here for a sli sleepy little back street. You get a lot of lorries. I mean, you can't even get through that side of the road. There's physically not enough room without using the curb. So you're just going to force everyone to use this side. I don't get it. The logic does not logic to me like logic should logic. Oh, that road's shut. We can't go over that bridge anyway. We have to come in this way because it's the hump bridge. And um, you go over there, you're gonna, what, you're gonna do some damage. Grind the lorry out. And probably do considerable damage to suspension and airbags. So we go around the back. That's a great place to park a car. Ah. Anyway, the good news is we've made it to the end of the week. It is Friday. And do you know what? not been a bad week this week last week i was like complaining that i'd used all my 15s and i'd been flat out haven't used a single 15 this week so far haven't used one so far i've just jinxed myself i've just jinxed myself if i go into a 15 today i'm going to be fuming however it'll be my own fault uh right as always they are not open yet so plot up here on the left <coughs> and we will sit ow bumpy uh, we will sit and we will wait until 7 o'clock. Well, just after 7. Are you done? I'm aware. Thank you. That sensor does my head in. Yeah, no, I can I can see it. All right, come. Anyway, knock that off. Feet up. Tackle on brake. And I suppose... We will reconvene when I've actually got something to film. Because uh, I've got, well, 45 minutes or so until they open. I might jump on the bunk and have a nap. So, <laughs> I'll catch you in a bit. And we are in five past seven. And we're in. Uh, we're just going to go under there. He's ready for me as well. That's always handy. The only issue is I need that lorry moved. Um, otherwise we're not going to get round well we're not going to get across from there that's a bit annoying but I'm sure they'll move it in a second right the nets are open let's oh no okay that shovel's going to let's swing around and then if we can get up the top of the yard out of the way then when that lorry goes should just be able to start getting loaded do you know what? You might even be able to load me from here. Let's have a look. Let's find out. If I come round here and then up here. Uh, no, he's not going to be able to load me from there, is he? Right, well, we'll get that truck moved and then we'll reverse back. That is the plan. And that is us in position. Load me up, buttercup. Let's get going. So that is us loaded. Um, about half an hour to get loaded. It's quarter to eight, which isn't bad. So what we'll do is we'll back it up into this shed, swing it around into here. Uh, of course, there's a lorry on the way bridge. 
because uh, I want to go on said Weybridge. Uh, well, get him off, and then, uh, do you know what, fine. It's fine, I will just go and reverse up onto it. Um, I was hoping he would be off a bit and I could drive straight onto it. However, that is not going to happen. So we will drive out here and we'll back up onto it. I was hoping he wasn't going to do that, but you know, it is what it is. That is a big old speed bump they put in here as well. Oh, it's a lot nicer when you can just drive up and onto it. But listen, the best played man, the best laid plans of mice and men often go awry. Or words to that effect. Right. Now, last time I went to do this reverse, that's I'm going to rip that sensor out the wall. It's actually doing my head in. Um, it took me about five attempts to get onto the shot up. Not even anything there. Thing just goes mental for no reason. That sensor is like like one of them little ankle biting dogs. You know when they hear the postman? It's like chill for a minute where we are. Like relax. Trying to do a manoeuvre. Yeah, last time I went to do this reverse, I was I was in a tipper, and it took me about six attempts to get on the bridge. It's a lot easier in uh well, I find it easier in a walking floor for some reason. Right, I'm hoping that lorry's moved far enough off the bridge because I wasn't going to back into him. And he hasn't. So if he could just go a bit further back, that would be lovely. Right, onwards. Into the pages of history. Uh, we are loaded. We have got our ticket, we're off the bridge. We're on our way, and all is well. Surprisingly quiet down here this morning as well. It's 10 to 8. Lovely stuff. Let's get going. I mean, of all the places you could have parked your car, it's not, I mean, it's not the worst place, but it's certainly not the best. Because I, I need to come quite wide, therefore my trailer, I mean, we should, yeah, we'll well avoid it, but. And then people parking their cars here as well, because I need to take this quite wide. However, we are round. All is well. Uh, all good in the hood. All hood in the good. This is modern lorry driving. Sensors and cameras and just pointless things you do not need. And it's just going mental at me for no reason. Does your head in. Right, let's get going. Ugh. Have to use the wrong side of the road because for some reason they've decided, no, no, can't use that side. And then I have to stay on this side of the road again because, well, them branches are too low. If I go under there, my trailer just, I just plane the area. I just become a tree surgeon. So I can't actually use the correct side of the road. Just remove them, they're stupid. Don't like them. <laughs> so if you followed me uh, on Instagram or TikTok, uh, you will have seen that last week I had a, a little a little incident on the M25. Um, my tire exploded and in spectacular fashion. Middle lane, 50 miles an hour, M25, through roadworks. Why was you out in the second lane on the M25, Pete? Very simply, I was overtaking before you all go mad at me. Um, I was overtaking, and the next thing I heard was bang! I looked in my mirror, there was bits of tyre just going everywhere. The worst part was, the bit of the M25 I was on, I was just before Enfield, so... Um, it's all jersey barriered off, one lane shut, and it's all jerk like solid metal jersey barriers. So I had to drive on a blown up tyre for about a quarter of a mile or so. Um, obviously at slow speed, I was crawling, until I could find a bit where the jersey barriers broke and there were some cones. Squeezed myself between the cones, got myself onto the, the shut lane. Um, it was not fun. <laughs> one of our drivers was behind me. And then 
I got a phone call going, mate, your tyre's just exploded. I was like, yeah, no, I, I'd worked that one out. I won't lie to you. I had gathered that on account that there was a loud bang and now there's smoke everywhere. <laughs> he was like, Jesus. I was like, yeah, it's a bad one. Uh, so we sat on the hard shoulder for, well, I say the hard shoulder, a shut lane for like two hours. A wrecker turned up. Um, like, if you break down, there's uh, like free recovery on the, end, on the end 25 at the moment. I didn't need it. We had a tyre fitter, so we got in-house tyre fitters, and he came out and um, he come and changed the tyre. But yeah, the people who work on behalf of highways, I think it's Saunders Recovery. Big up Saunders, man. They were nice people. The uh, the uh, the record driver, he was, but he was called Pete as well. So we bonded over our namesake. Uh, but he turned up, and then they shut a lane. Uh, so our tyre fit could work safely and then we got back on the way but it was a long day and do you know what the best part was I pulled back in the yard with literally two minutes left on my 15 hour working day two minutes I finished my day off I got the job done I was very happy but that was my tale of woe from last week um, however it's, it's a new week this week I'm not jinxing it because you know so far this week it's gone well it's actually gone quite nice um, loaded nice and early this morning all is well in the life of me um, I am sort of doing some tree surgery <laughs> a few of these branches are quite low hanging and the top of my trailer is like brushing against them so I do apologise if anyone's following me um, I can't help it Unfortunately, it's just the road that I'm on. But yeah, that was that was my week last week. It's a weird one now. We're lorry driving. You can go from having the worst week in the world, where all you want to do is hang the keys up, and just I'm not doing it anymore. Forget the job. I'm done with it. Hate lorries. Hate everything about them. Then you come in the next week. You have a very pleasant week, and you're like, ah, not too bad this really, is it? Not a terrible life. Um, yeah. Anyway, stop waffling Pete, just thought I'd share with you my tale of woe and wonder. So it is nine o'clock. I have arrived at Dunstable. Um, I think there's a lorry in there at the moment, so I just got to sit out here and wait for a bit. Then we'll get in, get loaded, turn around, off we trot. Um, <coughs> so far, touch wood. Don't want to jinx it. Today's going all right. I did shout at the missus this morning though, and um, I would like to make a public apology, but she did provoke me. <laughs> so she rang me this morning. And she said, oh, how's your day going? Yeah, doing all right, getting loaded early, blah, 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 had a schedule. You're going to be done early today. And I was like, don't ever say that to me. Down the phone again. She was like, why? I was like, you can't, you can't say those things to me. She was like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. I was like, no. It's like, I, I would rather you just rang me up and told me you was having an affair. At least I can deal with that. Ringing me up and saying you're going to get that, you don't say, you never say that. Never ever do you say I'm gonna be done early today. It's just you don't do it because of the road gods, the road, the gods of the road, they will smite thee down. They're vengeful people, and they they hear that and they go, Oh, yeah, we'll soon see about that. And then next thing you know, there's 1500 traffic jams, six tyres explode, you get pulled by a vote of the police, and highways England. Just stop oil, come and barricade your lorry in and do a dance around it. And it just all goes wrong. So I was like, no. So she apologised. We made peace with the road gods. We said our penance. Hopefully we carry on a good path. That's the plan anyway. And we are getting ticked. Living the dream. What time is it? 20 past nine. Uh, my man dear early ain't let me down today. Some boy you are, dear. Okay, we are going down said pit. Ah. 
it's going to be a bit of an awkward angle we're going to be coming at this at um, but we will see how we get on oh we're going to do it bend around yes. take it off hopefully anyway this all goes well go on round you go Right, lock off, straighten up, that should just go down in one, down in one, go on, down in one, oh you beauty, oh that was lovely, it's not often I do it like that, I'm not going to, decent from me, gonna give, actually going to give myself a pat on the back with that one as well, lovely stuff. A pat on the back. <laughs> He's filming me now. Right, we're in. Hello. How are we, Lou? Good. Thank you very much, sir. We're straight in the trips. Legend, you are. Right. Hello, I'm, mate. I'm off ski. Take it easy. In a bit, mate. See you later. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Work to be done, loads to be tipped. So, little update as to how we're getting on. Um, it's coming across the A14, probably got 15 minutes. I know, I didn't even see in there. <laughs> 10, 15 minutes to go. Um, had a smooth run, it's been nice. Um, I decided to avoid the 25 today, I was like, I'm not doing it. Went up the M1, 421, 428, A14, straight across, it's been lovely. Coming back though, we are going to brave the M25 because something squashed the central reservation at Newmarket and there's a lane shut going back across the 14 uh, and it's causing many tailbacks. So we're going to avoid that. We're just going to brave the M25, I think. Against my better judgment, A12, M25, that'll be the plan. Oh, there's a bit of a queue. Ten past twelve as well when we got up here. It's going great guns. Um, oh well, listen. Can't all be plain sailing, can it? We're going to have these things. These things were sent to test us, as they say. Fingers crossed it won't hold us up too long. And we can turn and burn, get back home, early finish on a Friday. That would be nice. We will see. Bolt transfer, stop sign, tag axle. Yeah, as you can see, the pattern is full. I'll get you as soon as I can. Yeah, no problem, mate. No dramas. Lightweight while we clear up the pad. Got three trucks up there tipping, so... Ah, feet up and chill, I suppose. That sensor is doing my nutting. And that is us. Tipping away nicely. Um, Come down over here. The load is popping out the back of the trailer. Get this off. Have a break, go back to the yard, call it a day. That is the plan. Um, it's quite handy here because all you do, you just tip on a pad, a little concrete pad. So, nice easy little tip this, nice and handy, no getting stuck, no messing about, spin round, back up, open your doors, tip, drive out. My kind of work on a Friday. Uh, just back on the 25, and here we go living the dream or words to that effect <laughs> it was all going so well <laughs> well i suppose as we as we have a bit of time to kill um we should address the the elephant in the room metaphorically speaking there's not actually an elephant in my cab maybe there is who knows uh <laughs> where is the new truck I do have an update on the new truck, and I'm not gonna lie, it's not a good one. Uh, it's been delayed again. I'm not entirely sure when it's actually gonna arrive now. It was meant to be here last weekend, um, but it's been pushed back for a number of reasons, which we won't go into in this video. Um, but yeah, it's not our fault. It's external factors that's holding up the delivery of the lorry. Unfortunately, we just got to be patient. Right. It is what it is, isn't it? It'll get here when it gets here. 
Um, could be another week, could be another month, could be another two months. Who really knows anymore? And to be honest with you, I don't, can't really bother to keep thinking about it. Like, the more you think about it, the more you wind yourself up, the more impatient you get. It is what it is. This is unfortunately the issues with buying new lorries at the moment in the UK is a nightmare to get them in. So, yeah, it's annoying. We're now sitting in traffic crawling, which is also annoying because your boy had been having a good run today. I blame Alice. This is Alice's fault. You're going to be done early today. Yeah. This is me, jaws coming back, snapping, attached to my rear end. I don't know what else to say. quite familiar. I feel like I've seen them somewhere before. <laughs> Hello old employers. Back it up, back, 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 back it up. That will do for me for today. Parker next to the V8, but not in the side of the V8. Obviously we don't want to crash into it. That would not go down well. The driver would want to hurt me and well I'd probably get in a lot of trouble. So I'm going to park next to it, but not into the side of it. And that is a little bit further parked. Jobs a good one. So that is me back, done, finished and parked up. It is quarter past three in the afternoon. Um, that is Foot Down Friday complete. It has been a successful Foot Down Friday and I'm very happy about it. Actually, that's the best Foot Down Friday I've had in... A long time it's been smooth we're done nice and early alice i will apologize for shouting at you earlier when you said oh you'll be done early today because as it goes i am <laughs> and i'm not mad about it oh yeah it started raining so really we finished the day how we started it uh just watching the rain fall in the yard quite a poetic way to leave it i think so i'm gonna leave it there i hope you're all good I hope you're all well. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Turn on the post notifications if you want to. And um, I'll catch you on the next one.